Hey everyone, Camper Van Kevin here. Today, I'm in Yuma, Arizona. What am I doing here? Well, I have come to town and I have come to the Cal Ranch store looking for me an even prettier and sexy hat. Um, I know they've got dog food and some other stuff. In fact, I bought all my car hearts last year in Idaho at Cal Ranch. We don't have Cal Ranches on the west, on the east coast. The west coast seems to be ate up with them. So I'm gonna go around, go inside, look around, and see if I find a hat I like a little bit better. Um, I've been getting a lot of people that uh, give me some great ideas of where to order hats from. I've even had probably a dozen people say they'll buy the hat and send it to me if I'll wear it, if I'll give them the size. Um, but you know, a hat's kind of a personal thing. Um, I'm just going to have to find it in person. Uh, Last night, my buddy David, gone boondocking. Um, our friend uh, John and Curtis, we all went over to his fifth wheel and uh, we had a New Year's Day dinner. We had ham and cabbage, potatoes, and a little apple pie. But when we were done, we watched the movie Tombstone. And so I was doing some hat shopping while I was watching Tombstone. I like Sam Elliott's hat. Uh, everybody else kind of like Wyatt Earp's hat. Um, Russ, uh, Kurt Russell's hat. So I did an internet search to see if I could find the hat that Sam Elliott was wearing. And it turns out after a little bit of research, the guy that made all the hats for the movie, and he'll make you a hat for 300 to 2800 bucks. So I was thinking, well, there goes that. <laughs> but if I don't find a hat here, I'll probably go to, uh, to Quartzsite or some other areas, any place there's a lot of vendors, and see if I can find something. So that's what I'm doing today. My uh, mini split won't be here till Monday. We keep getting some stuff screwed up on it. So, got a few days to kill. Find me a hat. Oh, by the way, I hope you were able to catch the, uh, the live streams we had for New Year's. We had a blast. And lots of people that watched it uh, talk about how much they enjoyed it. Uh, in fact, I went and... Uh, Threw away my trash this morning and I met another follow, fellow RVer. She was down there throwing away her trash and she's like, she told us about how much she enjoyed it and how much fun it was. So if you get a chance, go back and. If you get a chance, go back and see us on our, on our New Year's thing. Thank you, Tuck. Took the words right out of my mouth. I'm good at it. You going to tell them about the lock? Yeah, I think I will. Good morning, Martini. Hey, Daddy. I can't believe you're going to leave us in the RV with a bad lock. Well, I'm going to be gone for just a second. I'm going to hide you guys in the back. Nobody's going to know it's broke. Daddy, I'm, I'm scared of staying in here with a bad lock. Well, I'll put you back in the back and you'll be okay for a minute. Okay, you guys come on back here. Let's put you up. I'm gonna put this baby gate up. I have, I wanna thank everybody that's uh, sent Christmas cards and gifts to uh, to my address there in uh, Boulder City, but I have not had time to look through everything yet. Good boy, y'all stay back here. But I'll be going through my mail today. All right, got the baby gate up. I gotta sweep these floors. 
Okay, y'all be good. I'll be right back. All right, don't go too long. It's a little bit warmer today. We'll leave the baby some ventilation. Yeah, y'all be cool. I'm going to change back into my regular hat before I go in the store. But yeah, my door lock broke. The pin sheared. I've got another one on order. It's been giving me trouble with this pin sheared right here. It's gone completely. Now I've got this lock right here, but I don't have the key for it. When I've got the RV, I only got this key right here. I got oil and grease on my door from messing with it. So when I'm inside, I can lock the RV using the, the thing on the inside, but I don't have a way to, to lock it from the outside. We've got a big selection of hats. Tons and tons. Surely I'll be able to find a hat in here, huh? Look at the selection. Maybe there's a hat in here for me. Is that it? Let's see what I can do. Now this is a seven and five eighths hat. That's a good looking hat now. Seven and five eighths. Here's a seven and a half. Needs to be a little bit bigger. Seven and five eighths almost gets it. It's close. This hat's only like $45. It's my favorite so far. I like that. Right? They've got nylon mesh hats as well. The 75 eighths almost fits me, but uh, it's just a touch tight. I may find a style I like and then order it. All oh, these are too small. And that's got some coverage. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. That's a hat. So I've narrowed it down between these two hats. MHT, Master Hatters of Texas. I just need a little bit larger size. Maybe I can, uh, I can find it online. It's not a bad looking hat. <laughs> Well, this one is so close to fitting, it ain't funny. I like that. It does mostly fit. It's really not that bad at all. What do y'all think? Yeah? No? Just found the price on this hat, $60. I like it, what do you guys think? Just a little tight. Maybe I can stretch it a little bit. Yes, no. I like it. Hmm. Well, I decided not to get the hat, but I am gonna pick up some dog food. Yeah, I like uh, I like that black cat a lot. You go, Hoss. Leave some of that Cadillac, would you? Oh, that's close. 
I like that black cat a lot. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get online and order that hat the next size up. You know, just making sure. I mean, it, it almost fit. It was so close to fitting. Oh, I almost did it. It's 60 bucks. I'm going to get one. I'm not for sure I'm going to get it. I think I'm going to get it. But I'm going to have a perfect fit. But I am able to find the baby's dog food here. And I try to try to stay a bag ahead, two bags ahead. It's a small breed chicken and rice. Were y'all good? Man, they were the uh, martini bit in my ears. Well, you've been picking on her then. Where are we at, Daddy? Yeah, where are we at, Daddy? We are at Mr. Fish and Chips. We, we've already been here. Yes, we have. But we're going to be going in a couple days. We're going to be leaving Yuma as soon as the mini split comes in. And I'm not going to be able to get to my favorite restaurant. Man, I like Yuma. I like it too. You know, it's the reason we got wheels under us so we can be in a bunch of different places. And right beside Fish and Chips is Foothills RV Service and Supply. People say, well, why haven't you just, well, there's a lot of RV places in Yuma. Why don't you just get a new door lock there? Well, I've been to every RV place and every RV supply, and they want like $100 to $250 for them. eBay, get them all day long, $25. I mean, they may not be the same quality as a lot of these fancier ones, but I'm sure they used a cheap one for new, and it lasted 15 years. So, uh... Another cheap one ought to last another 15 years. So I pulled up here to Mr. Fish and Chips beside this RV and I looked over and there's a Camper Van Kevin sticker. They're from South Carolina. <laughs> That's fun. I'm gonna order the two piece fish and got the lemonade. I've already met two, two people that recognize me. They come out and talk to me, some real nice folks. They said, we're here because of your video. I said, was it a good good place to come? And they said, yeah, it's delicious. It's a good deal. That's what I'm talking about. Got the slaw and the fish and the sour cream. Yeah, buddy. So while we were there at the Mr. Fish and Chips, met a subscriber she's from south carolina tell me your name again i'm rhonda hey miss rhonda she says can i see the babies <laughs> oh hey you gotta come here how does he hold all of y'all at one <laughs> she saw she saw the video of mr fish and chips was was it good oh my goodness this is my second time in two days <laughs> i told it you it was, was good so good martini who's got you <laughs> Ms. Rhonda, she uh, she just uh, retired as a teacher, special ed in uh, South Carolina, and she's living out on the road now. Uh, y'all y'all are good y'all are good for my heart. Yes, you are. Go say hey. Go say hey. Hey, baby, mama. Go say hey. Come here. Come here. Come here, baby. She's a Come here. Come here. Come here. I love her. She won't look at you. You won't look at me. She's a mess. She says she's got, she's got my all but all. Mr. <laughs> I'm in charge of security. He loves everybody. Yes. So it's a small world. How many people did we meet there that knew me? It was like five. Five, five or six. <laughs> I ain't nobody, but a few people know me. I, I think you probably have trouble going anywhere without people talking to you, don't you? Well, it's just, just here in the West. Just in the West? Well, most, that's where you mostly. spend most of your time. Yeah. I like the West too. The, you did a video somewhere, I think you were up in Utah or somewhere, and you were standing sort of in front of a waterfall or something, and you were talking about how beautiful the West is. And I started crying because I feel the same way. <laughs> I feel the same way about it. It just it just does something to your heart. Isn't it gorgeous out it's here? It's gorgeous. It's just. It's good people. It is. 
It is. It's just, it's a great place to be. Well, I appreciate you being on my video. Oh, well, thank you for having me. <laughs> it's so good to meet you. <laughs> yep, got friends wherever I go. Must be this hat. It's the hat. It's the hat. It's the hat. <laughs> All right, well, listen, I'm going to have to end this video somewhere, so we might as well end it right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we will see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Rhonda's waving. Bye. <laughs>